Hello, my name is Zain Asad from Asad Z-Man Films, and today I'm actually going to be reviewing the Sinbags AC pouch that I got. I've had this pouch for about three to four years, I want to say, and yeah, I'm just going to show you guys. I'm not even going to review it. It's actually kept up really good, actually, it's Sinbags, but um, I'm just going to show you the contents actually in my Sinbags cap pouch, my Sinbags pouch. So, yes. Here we go. I have the front pockets. I have a, this is a multi-tool. I have a pen. I have a Sharpie that's thin point. I have two more pens, of course. You can never go wrong with some pens on set. Some highlighters on set, huh? The people are always looking for some highlighters. In, in this pocket, I have two flashlights, actually. Jesus Christ. And then also I have another big Sharpie. Never know when you're gonna need these babies. Another thick Sharpie and a pocket knife. Cause you never know when you're gonna need to cut something. And I really like these straps actually, because I can just pull it out. In this pocket, I don't have anything. I would usually keep batteries in this pocket, like NPF batteries or just regular AA, AAA batteries. Let's see what I have in this. And then also this has nothing in it as well. I would keep probably, I don't know what I would keep in there, but it's always good to have. Opening up the main compartments, I have some Band-Aids for sets. Always have a whole bunch of Band-Aids. And that's antibiotic ointment and whatever. Always, I always keep it right there on top, you know what I mean? Just, I also have my gloves for when I'm dealing with either camera grip stuff or whatever, gaffing stuff, you know what I mean? It's always good to have some gloves and their fingerless tips. That way I could still use my the tips of my fingers. I have a, what is this? This is a headlamp actually. Actually this is probably the best thing to have on a set is having a headlamp. These are cool, but most of the time, like flashlights like this, most of the time, if you're a PA, it's good and, and, and the AC or someone needs some light, then that's when it comes in handy. But if you're usually the AC or working on like a grip or something, it's always good to have a headlamp because most of the time this thing, I'm holding it like with my mouth or whatever, you know what I mean? Because I'm using both, my, both of my hands. This is the belt real quick that I use to hold this. It's like a utility belt. It's really strong and it's really heavy duty. I could attach more things to it. I have my pliers and pliers are always good to have on set actually i have short nose pliers you know curved pliers wire cutters it's always good to have pliers on set always good to have pliers on set you never know when you're gonna need them literally i have another I have another utility tool that's always good to have on set and the thing is this one has its own pouch so that's i attach this to the belt i have a level maker you put it on the side of the camera you could use it for if uh, on a dolly track you know to make sure it's all straight and even i don't know this this always comes in handy on set i don't know why i feel like every time i'm on set they're either looking for this or some pliers this is another multi-tool just in case i lose the other one you know it has all the things that you really need but this is always just good to have <laughs> I also have a box cutter. You never know when you're gonna need it. You cut gaff tape, you cut string with this. You just so yeah, it's always good to have one of these. And let's see what else I have. In the middle compartment, I have some business cards. Always good to network on set. I have a charger. Now this is actually really important too, if you're especially on like some independent sets and stuff and people are always looking for more outlets this could save a whole set actually sometimes there's like one outlet for the set this is actually a really good thing to have on set i also have some plugs these are good to have on set as well 
because sometimes you're working at like some places that only have two prong, especially in America, they only have two prongs. So this two prong connects, makes it a three prong input for the lights or whatever. I forget what these are called. These are called like pig noses or whatever. If you guys know what those things are called on set, type them in the comments, please. And then I also have just a regular screwdriver. I don't know why actually I have a regular screwdriver, cheap little screwdriver, stubby. This is a tape measure actually, and it's like a flexible tape measure. This is good for when you're pulling focus on something or even, I don't know, you need something. But this is small, portable, and, it's, and you can just throw it in the, in the back. It's always good to have some tape measure. So I usually have one of these, a flathead of course. This, is, this flathead is from Swiss Tools. This is actually a really nice one. I've had this for years. Always have this in your bag. That, those are all the things that I usually have on set. And that's what could go in the Sinbag's pouch, actually. And I love this pouch, too. I had the, the other pouch. You could actually see a review on the other pouch, too. I've had that for years, and it, I still have it, actually. Um, but I upgraded to the bigger one because it actually has, like, a zipper. And I don't know. I feel like this is actually really nice to have on the side of you at all times. This is basically what you need if you're PAing, if you're ACing. And it has these little loops at the end so you could actually just like attach more stuff to it, you know, or hang it or whatever. But it's heavy duty, the materials last forever. Even the, the, the stuff right here, whatever it's called, I forget what it's called. The nylon material, whatever, it's been sticky forever. It's good, yeah. But yeah, that's what I have.